Hello everybody and welcome. My name is Eric and today I'm gonna be doing a three-year ownership review of my very own DJI Mavic Pro. Let's get to it. Now this video comes to you mainly because many of my viewers for the past literally three years have always asked me what kind of drone am I using and stuff like that and I'm finally finally getting around making an actual review of how well it has held up for the past three years. This is the main drone that I use my Mavic Pro, obviously. Uh, there's a couple of things I wanna talk about. Now, I'm not gonna be going over a whole lot of details of the features themselves, mainly to tell you that, hey, it's been reliable, it still holds strong, the legs work, they bend properly, every single thing works on it just fine. Even the batteries have lasted plenty. Now, the batteries themselves, usually I try to cycle through them, you know, at least once a month. I have, I bought the package, I bought this drone the whole package deal, the whole bag, the two batteries, and everything else back on 2017, December 25th of 2017. So it's been roughly about three years and two months or so since I own it. And for those of you who follow my channel, you guys know how extensively I've used it. I, I have flown it. I'm going to show you guys some clips of what I do right now. I have flown it over water, follow, you know, follow me on the boat, taking off vertically from where I'm at in the water to... Uh, seeing the, the entire skyline of the city. Uh, I mean, taking it, the, the whole panning out shot when I go island camping and stuff like that. I mean, it has been flawless and that's all I gotta say. So if you're in the market for a drone that's actually semi-professional and you don't wanna spend a whole lot of money, I will do the best that I can. I think that you can still find them either on Amazon or eBay. If I can find it, I'll put some links below the Mavic Pro itself. Because now they got newer ones. They got the Mavic Air, which is I hear is fantastic. Some of, some of my followers have gotten that one, and it works great. Uh, others have taken. The, I've taken. I bought the Mavic 2, which has an even bigger camera sensor than this one. So this one does great in 4K. Imagine what the new one does. And I believe that the Mavic Air also follows with the same pattern of camera quality. There's one called the Mavic Mini. I tried it. It felt more like a toy. Uh, so if you're looking for a semi-professional consumer drone, I probably wouldn't jump for that one. However, as a starter drone, you know, to get started and learn, you know, what drones are all about, it's not a bad deal. So now I'm going to talk about a few other things that I want to talk about the drone. Being guys in closer, just, you guys see, you know, how well it's, it's held up. All right, so now that I got the camera pointing at the drone itself, here's the drone itself. Here it is. It has helped very nicely. Currently, I have some stickers that I per that I purchased when I first got it. That I put some skins. Uh, the ones over here flew off, so I took them out. The ones in the rear kind of held nicely, and the legs work nicely. That's what I like about it. The legs, when they bend, they still feel like it was brand new. The gimbal still works perfectly fine. I mean, I thought it was gonna be wear out, but it hasn't worn out at all, which is pretty good. I like that very much. I'll show you guys the remote. I currently have it paired with a um, with a iPhone 8. I used to use this one, which is a uh, uh, an iPhone SE, a 2016 iPhone SE. I used to use that one for quite a while, but now I use a, an iPhone 8. I <laughs> I got my mother a brand new, no more like a refurbished uh, iPhone 10, and uh, I told her if I could have her 8, and she let it. Let me have it, so now I use it with that. They were all still works perfectly fine. Everything is on it, no buttons are falling off. I mean, I gotta be honest, this little drone has been a bit, it's been a tank. Everything is working on it, all the sensors work. It's got bottom sensors and frontal sensors. It doesn't have top sensors or, or rear sensors like the new uh, Mavic uh, Pro 2 has like m many, many more sensors, so yeah. I want to show you guys the bag that I got with, with the package three years ago. The Amazon seller had it with the entire thing. Three batteries, the drone, the charger, and everything else. I think I bought this one separately. That's for the remote. Kind of protects the little, the little joysticks, you know, from getting all bent over. This little bag has been nice, actually. It's quite nice. If you guys are in the market for one, yeah, you, could, you can get one of these. I want to show you guys before I finish the video because... I practically talked about what my drone is about. I want to show you guys how I take off and, you know, grab it with my hands. I thought I'd show you guys that. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and shoot off the drone and 
grab it with my hands. Because <laughs> this is the way I actually do it. Whenever I take off my boat, this is how I grab it. Because I'm in the middle of the water. It's not going to actually work. <laughs> and usually when I when I take off I wanna grab it, I grab it by the leg, like so, push down, shuts off. <laughs> That's usually how I do it, because usually um I'm in the water and there's no way to land. So that I've learned to do it that way. Um I seen other folks on YouTube and they do it and I thought it would be great. So guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. So yeah, to present to you a summary session of this video itself. This drone has been reliable, goes back every time. There's one more thing I want to say though. There was this one time where if you happen to get a used one, it'll tell you that all this, you get all these warnings on the on the, on the, on the, on the phone telling you that the, all the, the, all the sensors are bad or not working. It's because it requires you every a couple of years for you to calibrate it. There's a, um, there's an application to download from the DJI website and you point the drone towards the screen and you do all these exercises to point at it and it'll calibrate the compass and then you back back to business. So other than that, batteries have lasted because I cycle through them. It just required calibration once. Um, gosh, it's been fantastic guys. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Later.